Hey guys, T2 out here, Titan Ink Survival. I'm excited. So, why am I excited? I'll tell you here in a minute. But this video will not have a bunch of edits, so I do apologize for that. Um, I just wanted to get this video out here as quick as possible. Just so if any of y'all see this and y'all wanted to hit up on this sale that I just got, y'all can go ahead and do it. The sale expires August 31st. So, what is the sale? Harbor Freight, you know, the place of cheap tools having a huge sale, huge blowout sale. And they can get this. The 100 watt, the 100 watt solar panel kit. Normally this thing is $189. And as you can tell, it comes with two lights, the charge controller, which is huge, four 25 watt solar panels. Then all the wires. But, so what's so special about this? Well, normally it's $189, but during this sale, and I'll, the link will be in the description below, you can get this exact kit for $40 off. You can get it for $148. So that's a huge savings. Normally, solar panels are a dollar per watt, and so you're getting 100 watts. Then you're getting all this little extra stuff for 40 bucks so that's not bad at all now this is supposed to be a simple plug and play system this is just a quick overview on it um, not even a review just a quick hey you know if you've got spare money if you got 150 bucks go down to harbor freight you know save you a little bit of money what can you chart what can you power with this thing i'm not sure yet uh i know 100 watts is a lot it's hot out here guys um lights obviously lamps you know power outage something like that if you watch i believe it's the basement prepper his why did my preps fail me he talks about a winter time prep kit and this is like one of his top items he just says i don't think he's got 100 watts i think he's just got one little panel but he talks about it. it's just a simple plug and play system you know allows you to charge your phones allows you to plug in these little lights and those are i don't know 50 watt equivalent LED bulbs so you can light up a room now I took the money that I saved I took the $40 I saved spent an extra 20 30 bucks on it and went ahead and bought a battery it's the battery that they sell this is a 35 amp hour battery uh, be honest with you I don't know what it'll run neither but I got that and then I've got a uh, inverter so I spent an extra hundred bucks on the inverter and the battery but, you know, I still save like 50 bucks. So, I just wanted to put this video out there and let it, all you guys know the sale ends August 31st. So, you know, if you get paid bi-weekly, that's two paychecks away by the time I upload this video. So, maybe run on down and get you one. If you've been looking at getting one and don't want to spend right at 200 bucks, $189, you know, with taxes, that's almost 200 bucks. So, if you want to save some money and still make power, Go ahead and run down there and get you one um yeah uh i plan i'm in my shop right now and i would love to be able to set this thing up set it outside here in the field where that sunshine's always shining and maybe run some lights into my shop something like this i can do it i can set the panels outside i can run the wires through the wall have this charge controller on the wall and then just flip the switch on the lights every time i walk in the door that'd be awesome and so 100 watts pretty good now you're not going to be able to run your fridge you're not going to be able to run your freezer or nothing like that on it so that's why i've got that 4000 watt generator over there um that's to power up my fridge my freezer in case we do lose power but something like this well something like that generator you know yes it'll power a fridge yes it'll power a freezer but it runs off that gas and right now i think i'm down to like four gallons left i'm trying to burn off my old gas so i'm trying to burn it all off and i think i've got four gallons before i go fill up so now when i fill up i got 25 30 gallons stored up but if power went out right now i maybe could run my fridge for a day or two but something like this you know i could run a tv some lights something simple and then focus that generator solely on the fridge and freezer one thing to remember, and I'm going to be doing an entire video on power generation and tips and tricks and whatnot, is 
your fridge and freezer, I've seen people run generators all day trying to keep those things going. Your fridge and freezer don't run all day. They kick on for a little while, they kick off, kick on, kick off. So if I'm running that 4,000 watt power in the fridge, I might plug it up for an hour, let it cool down, then unplug it for two hours, back and forth, back and forth. And that way the fridge stays cold, but then I'm not constantly running that generator and it's running and the fridge ain't even running. Same thing with your freezer, only the freezer can last for about 10 to 12 hours. Now, if you go to bed, yeah, leave your generator running, whatever the case is, if you want all that food and stuff to stay good. But quick power generation, you know, plug up your fridge, let it cool down maybe two cycles, let it get the internal temperature where you want it, and then shut it off. That's, that's the tip that I was told. Is it true? Is it not true? I don't know yet. Um, but that's just what I was told. So y'all let me know what y'all do. Let me know if you have uh, one of these little 100 watt or anything from Harbor Freight. Um, from what I've been told, their stuff ain't half bad. So we'll see. And uh, whenever I get this all unhooked up and or unboxed and hooked up and everything, I'll show y'all the setup. But man, I'm excited. I am. But again, $148. Uh, $69.99 was the battery and the inverter that I got was like 50 bucks so I spent an extra hundred bucks on the other two items but again you save like $45 or 40 bucks so like I said if you've been looking at getting one now's the time to do it I'll put the link in the description and I'm excited alright guys y'all have a good day T2 out